Welcome back, folks, to another Let's Play of Stellaris. I'm Perry. I'm Kev. And we're continuing our 1.2 Asimov experiment, seeing how things go. So I'm here, and Kev is there, and you're someplace in between. Uh, and I have a very strong anomaly to research. 52%. Yeah, really, the anomaly to end all anomalies. I'm kind of nervous about this. I can't, I can't recall I ever researched an anomaly with that kind of failure rate. I've never seen one of that kind of rate before. I really don't understand. Uh, this is my best scientist, so... You have more than one. Nothing. You have more than one. What a luxury. Well, that was a quick war. What the hell did you just shoot at? Oh, they just mauled a poor mining drone. Oh, the poor mining drone. I killed it. Aww. Yes. Vengeance for the, all the ships I've lost earlier. Fresland! Wait. I've used that before. You think? Well, I can't use salutations because that would be infringing on your your routine. So, <laughs> so calm down, laddie. Calm down. Uh, no, 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 let's see. Okay, ninety-two percent research, ninety-four, ninety-six, and boom, purple raid. Uh Oh my! Okay, um... Discoveries of no scientific value, the evocative imagery of the color-filled precipitation sparks a minor renaissance in the Eurovision area and artwork. The positive effects of it shall be felt for years to come. Inspired arts. For 60 months, plus 10% happiness. Not bad. Uh, five years of extra happiness. And the ship didn't go boom, so... All nice, good. Nice tribute to Prince. Yeah, that must be what it is. Purple rain. Construction complete. Construction complete. Well, I, mean, I kind of hope that it would be converted into a Gaia world, but okay. Next time, maybe. Ten percent happiness is pretty nice too. Mm -hmm. uh, ten percent, ten percent empire-wide happiness is very nice. Who you can? Yeah, but my this is in the early phase, so I don't really have that much use out of it. Uh, build the mining network. Come on. You don't need that much food. Of course they do. Have you seen how they eat? They need tons of food. Uh, it was on debris fields, that's okay. Ships are repaired. Off you go, because you're gonna explore every world in the direction of Perry. Why doesn't well. that encourage me? <laughs> Well, these words at least. There we go. That's about as far as I'm gonna go, I think. And now you found the. Uh, which one? Was it. Was it here you found? No, not that one, not that one. Over here. It's a tropical world with protocept, yes? Yes, Stone Age primitives. Boo! And blue lasers. Woohoo. Who blue? Uh, Sacre so blue lasers. Uh, disruptors or missiles? 
Why not? Why not both? Mm, I can't really afford the research time. I'm gonna go with the basic computers. I don't know. They're nice too. Mining station. Another year, and I'll be able to start integrating this little neighbor Colony species of mine. Unfortunately, I'll have a hell of a time reaching them. But. <sighs> Uh, more mining drones. Do those, and then we're going to go... Who oh, I don't know. Crazy. Yeah, that's my default mode. Can't do that too many times. I thought it was half your fun. <laughs> Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Yeah, uh, not much to settle here. That's the only world I have. Yeah, I guess I'll have to do that then. Clear my path up to the continental world far in the north. Seems to be my only option right now. That or plowing through my neighbor. Construction complete. Oh, I'm suddenly losing money. Oh boy. Um, Did you encounter okay, a problem? You're, no, you're not gonna like this. What? I found three colonizable worlds in your direction. Okay. So far. Okay. And they're right next to each other. Oh. Just... No, I didn't colonize that direction. The three worlds, are, they're pretty much straight galactic north. Anomaly found. Okay. Indian Mirad. Is that. I don't want to step too, on too many toes, but yeah. Only so much I can do. I mean, don't don't think I've got any kind of exclusion zones going on. If you're instead of saying, hey, you know what, come colonize these, I am more than willing to move in that direction and take them from you. They're continental, not ocean. Oh, that's not a problem at this point. Oh, boo. Uh, scratch that, it isn't three, it's five so far. Well, you found Good lord. You found where all the planets are. Yeah. It's a huge cluster uh, just north of the galactic center. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but that that's definitely where I'm going next. Well, you should. I have no restrictions on things. Why am I construction complete? Why is my fleet so Well that planet's not colonizable without a little more fun first. More fun? The anomaly put seven quicksand bases on a size nine planet, so the entire planet Ouch. is the entire planet is filled with uh, blockers. Oh, yeah, those. That really sucks. Yeah. And the only way to get around that is to terraform the planet, isn't it? Yeah. And it put a five-year modifier on the planet called Shifting Sands. So that anomaly was anomalous. 
you've started up terraforming equipment before with results. <laughs> yes, some assembly required. Consult your parents. Kids don't try this at home. Did I mention that, by the way? I just started recording. That's the and that's the some required assembly. Oh, okay. <laughs> IKEA in space. That's the other name list I showed you. I sent you. Yeah, you had been talking about putting it together. Yeah, it's kind of fun. The IKEA catalog is remarkably good for. Whoa. <laughs> um. Um, okay, so I can give my researcher the carefree trait or the careful trait. With the carefree, I get 750 minerals. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Okay. So, uh, what's the trade-off? Yeah. So, yeah. Do I want to pay? Who am I kidding? I'll pay for it. I want the careful trait. I mean, fast researching the anomalies faster versus actually succeeding with them. I'll take the success. Yeah, no, it's all, success always. System Even if it's 750 complete. minerals, that would have been very juicy. Still. Ah, now I have. So now I have a resilient leader who's also careful. So yeah. Ah, we have erection season. You have what? Erection season. Ancient proverbs say talk about great people being erected. <laughs> it, I mean, democracy, it's the election season. Oh, uh, okay. I am just making fun of the fact that so in some languages the L and the R aren't separate. So, ah, you are st ah. ah, so you are standing for erection. Congratulations. You're kind of scaring me here. Not my fault. Supposed... Not my fault. Parts of languages get weird. Probably my fault that I know this, but Found. Uh, it's actually funny, The uh, several of my friends in college took Japanese class, and Japanese is one of the ones where L and R are the same sound, they're not, se they're not separated from each other. Situation log updated. The, uh, well, so, I just had an election, I want to see what all won. Okay, good. So, my f one of my friends, his last name was Shrek. There's also a schlick, schleck, and I think a, one other sound in there that's had another R sound. So there are basically four four names that weren't pronounceable in the in the poor teacher's language uh, to the poor teacher natively, because the poor teacher was just a teaching inst a uh, a grad student that was from uh, Japan over in Santa Barbara, you know, teaching in her way through grad school basically. But here she's got a class where about a third of the kids in the class she can't pronounce their names easily. And of oh, course, boy. and of course, my friends, being the good, upstanding people they were, found this hilarious. <laughs> Mining drones must die. Research complete. Said everyone who's ever played this game. <laughs> yeah, well, at least they, they can kill them. I can't kill the. Thousand k worth of a thousand points worth of crystals. Uh, yet, you'll get there. Oh, I have faith in you. Hello, little mining drones. Hello, nurse. Yeah, they'll need a nurse soon or mechanic, maybe. And they go kaplut, kaplut, splut. Kash, kash, Cash, there we go. There we go. And now I can send my sign ship in. Hopefully. Oh, boo, I didn't get a debris field. And in that case, you can go through, I suppose. We have a size 23 world to survey. And 
then we have to see if we have enough influence to actually settle it. Uh, what? Oh! Okay. We can integrate the subject. Let's not integrate them just yet. Oh, now I found a debris. Oh, where's the sign ship? Uh, sign ship. Back. Oh. <laughs> Clicking one second too late. That's not fun. I don't know. I find it, I find it kind of funny. Okay. Back to base. And I think it's time for... All right, I don't have the space torpedoes yet. Uh, still, we have blue lasers. System survey complete. Interceptor core with blue lasers. Yeah, unfortunately, we only had the bad reactors. Yeah, better sensors. There we go. There we go. A reworked Lithuania class. Lithuania class. Yes. I'm sure there's a story there. No, like I said, I didn't, the ships are all after contesting, contesting countries, uh, competing countries, countries that have been in the contest or can be in the contest, rather. So, hence the Libya class. Uh, the Libya, Libya is for the construction ships. Uh, the, those are for the nations that technically are eligible but never have entered. But regular military ships are for countries that have entered at some point. So among them you'll find Morocco. Okay. Morocco did enter once, I think. Research complete. And pretty much all the north... The, um, the inclusion in the Broadcasting Union is basically based on uh, a geographical square rather than any other scenario. That's why North Africa is included along with Israel and I believe Jordan and maybe and Lebanon. Updated. Uh, yeah, sure. Positron bombardment. That sounds like fun. Construction Wait here. complete. Was it here? Where was it? Track uh, on map. There we go, Positron Bombardment. Get up here, do that. No idea what that is, but it sounds like fun. Yay, galactic ambitions. Yay? Yay. Yay. Ah. ah, propaganda sounds cool. This is propaganda. This is CNN, but I'm just repeating what you're saying. Do they still use students? Do they still use James Earl Jones? Um, no, I think they stopped using him around the time they stopped covering news. <laughs> no, that's okay. not that's not true because they used him into the nineties. Yeah, I, it's been many years since they dropped CNN from our package. So, what are the what's the immigration like to Norway? And when can I move? <laughs> Well, they're restricting it ever more. You're free to apply. I'm I'm Norwegian I'm Norwegian by ancestry, does that count? Nope. God, that's 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 a tough crowd. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know the rules for Well, I suppose you'd have a much easier time getting in here. But if you want to have a um, I've got job yeah. skills. Yeah, that is would probably not be too hard to get the job permit. To be honest, I promise uh, I, I promise I won't put on an explosive vest and blow anyone up. <laughs> no, but if you want uh, um, a citizenship, 
then then you'd have to abandon your old citizenship. Well, depending on, depending on who That's wins, uh, depending on who wins in November, that actually might not be that bad ba bad an outcome. Now, if I remember right, you cannot have dual citizenship if you have a Norwegian passport. Okay. Can I have uh, can I have dual citizenship but then have an American passport? And I just but I figure if I don't go down to the passport office and don't ask for one, uh, or, is, or is it more complicated than that? No, I don't know the rules. Um, yeah, this, this system. Um, I probably shouldn't mention that it has an ocean planet, but okay. I just did a mission there and it has 14 minerals. Oh my god! In one system, and it has a size 23 ocean planet. That's a pretty nice. That's a. That's a pretty nice system. Ah uh, yes. But it's also pretty much on my border. <laughs> but yeah. It was an anomaly that succeeded. So yeah, I don't sure. The planet suddenly has. I don't know if the planet had anything before, but now it has nine minerals. One planet. I've had a few like that after anomalies and events, and it is awfully nice. Yeah, I can't argue against that. Hmm. Mining station up there, I guess. No, we. Uh, no, no, no. Go here. Research station. Oh, I haven't surveyed these planets. <gasps> Why are we doing this? <laughs> I don't know. La mask class? Um, okay. <laughs> this got weird real fast. <laughs> well, you're the one who asked. I just came up with an answer. Not oh, necessarily the right one, but... Okay, little ship, you can go back and survey. I thought I did. Ugh, I must have stopped sometime. Okay, new and improved fleet. Go and visit whatever's here. Alien vessels. Visit the vessels. Visit. We, we must visit. Okay, let's see. I can... Oh? Gas racers. Okay, that's fine. So this nice little planet will require 380 influence. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, are you building sh ships at a distance greater than that? Uh, maybe. Uh oh. So I shouldn't have told you about that, this ocean world, though. No, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay in my own neighborhood. It's fine. We can probably intermingle a while, and when we see each other, we see each other. Though I'll, yeah, I don't know. No, I've just I've sharing this tight border with this hostile race. You know, ties me down a little bit more than I'm than normal. Yeah, then my my arrival has basically settled. Oh, of course, that that's where the continental plant is. Ah, uh, if I'd known that ages ago. Uh, yeah, my um, rival has basically blocked me from expanding directly westward. And being hyperlane, I can't really cross. I can't cross into the arms below at all. So no way of going south. I have an avenue going north though, and then e then west, which is probably what I'll try to do if I can get through all these hostile critters. But right now the focus is the eight or so <laughs> worlds that I've found in one big cluster in your direction, unfortunately. It's in the inner arm. But what am I just shooting at? Oh, the void cloud. Right. And I'm losing ships. My blue lasers! My blue lasers! Oh, they're not enough. The goggles, they do nothing. Yeah, exactly. The light show is just too much. There we System go. System survey complete. Situation log updated. 
Flee! Flee, I tell you. Uh, and go here. Survey and research projects after that. I guess it's time to start thinking about a bigger fleet. Right, I got the colony ship done, didn't I? Yes, I did. The US, the ESC teach in. My colony ships are named after groups. Okay. We're getting the well, band. Good. We're getting the band back together. Well, there were many groups at one. Let's see. New song time. We get. I have no clue. Uh, Noholeta. Okay, good. That's Klingon, apparently. Noholeta. No, I suspect that's French, but. There's a difference. Or Italian. I have no idea. Aggress aggressive people with something strange on their head, patriarchal, that get into fights and then need someone else to help them. Klingon French, yeah. which one is it? Possible as it may seem, I'm running out of power. Um, yeah, more power plants. Oh, I like I'm anomalies with zero percent failure. They're nice. Zero percent failure? What's that? Well, it's not fifty-two percent, but. But still, this is a paradox game. There might be a hidden modifier, so it's actually 0.001%. And yeah, it's... You can suddenly get a big surprise. Research complete. There are all the games that give you surprises, too. Uh, oh, this is my... Oh, the, one system with two Baltarian stone. Nice. Oh, very nice. And we survey that, and that's the... yeah. Orbital research mandate. I need one more research station, but I think I'm... Yeah. Out of science stations to build. I hate when that happens. Uh, where did I just get a new special project? Track on map. That's not it. Oh, over here. Return, return. And survey. Holy... Seriously? And I... Oh my goodness, size 25 colon... Uh, of course. <laughs> Size 25 continental planet, but it has Stone Age primitives. And you're pacifist. I'm xenophobe. I'm xenophile. So, yeah. I'll never be able to do anything with that planet. Construction complete. And well, grumble, grumble, grumble. You could, license it. It, you could license it for tour ships to fly by and wave at it as you smile <laughs> from orbit. That is just... I really wish they did something so I could at least build an observation post something or something. That modifier is just so annoying. There's nothing I can do. But no, I'm not playing pacifist. I suppose there's one thing I can do. I can terraform the planet. You could. Or, or can I do that if they are if they are inhabited, inhabited? You can terraform an inhabited planet. I don't know if it works for the Stone Age Primitives, though. And, uh, but we had something, yeah, for oh. something to consider for the future. Oh, yes. Thank you, folks, for watching. And we'll see you again soon.